because we put butter in it and it's really squishy. Let's get excited that we're going to Louis. I'm gonna eat all of this. One of the best things we do, um, you know, from top to bottom, bottom to top, is stay engaged with the community, uh, partner with them as much as we can. So we, you know, we're one of the few agencies that have the solid support uh, of, of the community. You know, we're engaged with homeowners associations, um, schools, uh, our downtown business group right here. Since you're from Africa, and we talked about this too. Cameroon, yeah, yes, right? from Cameroon. What, what, so, what's the difference follow that between the, the American police and the, the police in, in Africa that you that you experience? I mean, obviously, it is like it's it's like two different level of uh, of job that they're giving the officers, right? I feel like some of the work that the officers are doing should be kind of delegated to somehow the the government too, right? Like they're overtaking, like let's say drug addiction, some of the fire, so like household issues. There's a lot of things that they have to do within the spectrum. Where in Africa, you know the police can only do certain things. What do you see the biggest, uh, hardest impact that the fentanyl is doing in this community? So fast, rapidly, and spread. You know, the drug enforcement agency said, you know, um, the, the amount, in, in the past couple of years, the amount of uh, fentanyl, fentanyl-based substances has doubled. Wow. Um, and we, we can't control that. Uh, what we can control is, is to, to a certain degree, how it impacts our communities. And really where we're seeing it is uh, lately we've, uh, we've had, I think, up to seven overdoses of, of teenagers in uh, in, in the Hayes County Independent School District. You know, because the question comes, always comes out, what's, what are the cops doing about it? What's law oh, enforcement yeah. doing about it? And really one of the most powerful things we can do right now is inform and raise awareness yeah. of, of the issue. We're actually getting out there and getting, not in your face about it, but um, you know, some of, the, uh, some of the public information officers around here representing different, different functions, police and, and civilian, have gotten together to uh, really unify our message, uh, identify resources that we all share, and and be able to share them across the board. And so we're all we're all sharing the same information, the same message. It's right here in Jonathan High School. That's one of, the, one of the reasons I'm here is to talk to you about that. You, you guys know four students in HCISD passed away in the last three months. We don't like going to those calls. That's the last thing I want to see is a young man or young lady who hasn't even started their life yet, can't breathe, dead. And we got to shoot them up with Narcan, praying and hoping that it's going to work. Hard work. Hard work. We would drive 45 minutes to Lake Jackson, which is the nearest Loomis. So my parents would get in the car and my grandparents got in the car too. And we would go to Loomis pretty much every Sunday. And so I grew up loving Loomis. Loomis is an institution. Um, it kind of feels like home to me. I know what to expect at Loomis and um, it's always a warm environment. I think people feel comfortable here. Um, uh, and the food helps a lot, it's comfort food.